So, if you guys at home were wanting to fit a stage one, which I'm not, I'm gonna fit stage one and two, you'd be taking this pipe, which is the only pipe you've received. This one's the UK driver's side. And first of all, you'd be getting your clamp, again, you've got to have the appropriate clamps for the year. Um, so early cars, the holes in the exhaust rubbers aim towards the side. So you've got this sort of arrangement coming over towards me at the moment. If it's a later car, then that hook will go backwards. So you're going to have that on there like that. I'm just going to do this up by finger just to stop it sliding around a little. And very, very approximately, this is going to aim towards the centre of the car. Well, this is vertical. And you're going to have to adjust it when it's on the car, but sort of getting that sort of approach going on. Then you're going to get one of your tailpipes. Which are kind of like the cherries on the cake, they're beautiful. I'm going to slacken off the bolts on the back. And then this gets slid onto here like so and we won't know what the right positioning on that is until everything else is properly attached and lined up I'm going to guess somewhere around there. Okay. Then being sure to put your chosen clamp on there before you attach it, you just offer that up to the existing over axle pipe. Slide it on. Rotate around. This will show you approximately where your hanger has got to go. You can wiggle that into position below the other peg where your rubber is going to fit. Like that. And then this is a bit where some people are going wrong when I've talked to them and say, oh, this is so far off being in the right place to go underneath the car uh, and through the bumper, it's because they're hanging it like that or trying to, and that's wrong. It hangs like that on this flat bit. So the hanger is quite offset from the exhaust. That's gonna go, this rubber is going straight up and down when it's in position. So I, so I swing this back up now. That is gonna go onto that peg up there. Like that. And then we can start adjusting and tweaking this into position using the bracket because you can see we've got this too close to here. All I've got to do is slacken off the hanger rotate it like so.
and it pushes the exhaust further off in that direction. There we go. And then when we get something like approximately the right position, you can rotate the tail trim, which again is why it's important this is a separate piece, and start to tweak and maneuver. You've also got how far the exhaust is pushed onto the O-Raxle pipe. And if you pull it further out, then you rotate this this way. Okay, it's approximately right. So to try and replicate the view I gave you on the other exhaust, you said the height is about right, possibly a little too high if I'm honest, at the moment. Add half the pipe below bumper level, probably a fraction higher. The tip is still well back from the end of the bumper, but is now looking like it's belonging. I might push that back a little further without finessing the whole thing. You start to see how this shape fits in with a curve on the body line so much better than the pea shooter. Um, obviously we've got a close up and a wide angle. It doesn't look like a ridiculous boy race, I think. If I try and get a bit more of a general shot for you. Probably gives you a better idea of scale. A bit hard to show you while we're in the garage. I'll get the car out of the garage and just do some startups and a few throttle blips and bits and pieces like that just to give you a sense of what stage one does for you compared to standard um, before we move on to the next few chapters in this video saga where we'll get the over axle boxes off and fit the stage two system properly and then refit the stage one properly we'll do the same drop it down get it outside do the startups and the blips but also move on to episodes where we can have it out on the road and do some comparisons with the moving sounds inside and outside the car, etc.
76. This is 50. That's 50 sport off cruising. Very pleasant in here. And here is full bore automatic acceleration to 60 in sport mode. There's 60. And now what I'll do is a sport acceleration to 60, full bore in automatic and go. Hope you've enjoyed this one folks if so please click subscribe and the bell icon because lots more episodes of this exhaust saga and secrets of the xk8 queuing up to come out real soon